What is going on, everybody? How y'all doing out there? Ace Fusion, how you doing, man? Uh, it's not too bad when you have the right chance. I should, If I do not have the right chance, then this is the wrong quest. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, I, I went through this season in war, and uh, at that time, I, you know, my, my account's okay. I've been told it's pretty good. So if I do not have the right chance, then that means something is wrong with the quest. Um, as we hope you recover. Thanks. I Yeah, I'll cover that real quick. Um, <laughs> fastest juggernaut in BGs. Whew! I, I could have used some of that medicine, my friend. Aiden, what's up, buddy? Hope you feel well. Thank you, AFO. Uh, I, yeah, we'll see, AFO. We'll see. Uh, say, Fossey, what's up? Uh, just pulled Storm. Hey, congratulations. Rolled over Black Cat. Sorry. Uh, onto another Black Cat, and then it rolled over again. Oh, my God. That's the pain. Right? I mean, the real, we know it's not, we know the real is not real, um, but it's still the drama of it all, right? And that's that's the drama, the negative drama. I'm sorry. I mean, Storm's really good. Don't get me wrong. Storm's very good. But Black Cat, I think, is in general a better champion. They, they do very different things. So, trying to get a little caffeine in me, guys. This is going to be, this is going to be a, <laughs> this is going to be a thing. Black says, still need to repeat the left-hand side. Well, I, as you can see, you only got three days. You only got three days. So, what are you waiting for? Uh, Pikachu, what's up? Laser. Reed, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Thanks so much for being here. Uh, I was did check Discord very quickly, and it looked like uh, some really bad things happened uh, as far as the diversity and the war and all that. I don't know. I didn't have time to read the whole thing. I I mean, if you guys want to set me off, if you guys want to start a fire, all you got to do is get me talking about some more. <laughs> uh, you can't hear any audio. Can you guys not hear me? Uh, let me know. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, war was not fun. Reed responding as if they can hear me. So if they can hear me. Uh, Brian, let me know if this fits for you. Never mind, it was on your end. Ah, I, sh I should read more of the chat, and then I would know what's going on. Uh, I don't like the showcase too hard for a showcase. Fair enough. Labeling is important, right? Labeling is important because it kind of lets people know what they're in store for. And when it's shockingly different in a bad, negative way, that's uh, shocking and not in a good way. Uh, you sound like an Ill evil ver villain with reverb. Dude, I, 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 uh, I'll just tell you guys quickly is um, I, I went away to San Diego uh, two weekends ago. Yeah, two weekends, literally two weeks today. I got on a plane with my family, flew down for a bit of a family reunion, kind of a surprise birthday party. Um, my parents had, um, had rented out this restaurant and um, we had a lovely time. There was, I think, around 40, 45 to 50 of us, somewhere in that number, high 30s to 50. And um, we had a lovely, lovely time. If you follow me on Instagram, I did post a photo, I think, with my wife and myself. And um, that was on Saturday night. So we flew down Friday, Saturday night, we had the party, Sunday flew home. Monday, sometime my, Monday night, uh, my wife and one of my kids was very sick, like, no denying clearly sick not like oh it's it allergies maybe they ate something a little bad it was just like they're ill uh tuesday morning i had the exact same thing and we're like well shoot you know maybe it's a bad cold maybe we've got uh covid what have you like we've had both of those things um we have our vaccines and whatever you know i'm sure in a few days we'll start to feel better it's two weeks later and i am i am better than i was but I still am, I am not well. <laughs> I'm not well. Those of you who played me in Battlegrounds are probably like, yeah, we noticed. Uh, it is affecting my play, my hand-eye coordination. I had to completely take off a full week of work. There was a couple things where I was like, I need to get this thing done. So uh, I was loaded up on like Dayquil, like all the various remedies that one can do. Uh, to do that. And so um, here we are. Like I said, I'm still far from, from well, but I, I, I want to get this done. I, ironically, uh, or fortuitously, however you want to look at it. On Monday, I'm actually leaving on a, a family vacation. Uh, my family and I are going to go away for, I think, like three or four days, um, enjoy a spring break for one of my kids' schools and all that. And so as a result, I'm not going to be able to get this done. So it's got to be today. And here we are. Here we are. It might not be pretty, folks, but we'll get it done. Uh, what's up, Jay? Will, how you doing, bud? Stick, thank you very much. Thanks for letting me know the audio is good. Um, 
have fun with the war showcase. I'll skip that. Okay. I, I want, I want Deathless King Groot. He does sound pretty powerful too. Simula is pumped up for it and Simula knows, knows King Groot better than anyone. So I'm pretty excited about that. Sorry to hear about that stuff. Thanks, Pablo. I appreciate it. Um, I, uh, new COVID strain. So, uh, Aiden, all of us have been testing, obviously like an old test might not pick it up. We've all been to the doctor and, uh, they've all said, that they're they're very sorry they feel badly for us but that this is kind of what they're seeing right now that there's just there's this like flu type thing going around uh, at least in california i guess um and people are sick for like three or four weeks and it's just like you slowly get better yay a <laughs> uh, little man went down flu type b for 10 days it was rough feel better soon thanks Sabian. yeah i mean that's the thing right like i remember when um the pandemic wasn't necessarily over but like we were all returning back to school and things like that my kids they were my kids were very young right and so um they started getting sick with colds all the time and things like this and we like really needed to explain it, it was like probably a year and a half or so it's quite a bit because remember they're young where i was like no this is how life was is we would gather in groups and have a lot of fun and enjoy it. And then we would share all these germs and walk away with colds. <laughs> uh, but we would build up immunities and things like that. So I, it just is what it is. I'm just kind of letting you know. My, that's why my, my channel has been absurdly quiet. Um, I was active on a community post on YouTube and then on Twitter with some of the war stuff that's been going on and uh, got out the rankings. I think they came out this morning. This is this morning or yesterday. Either way, like I said, I'm not feeling great. And, uh, and my channel is going to be quiet uh, until probably next weekend because I, I really just want to enjoy the time with my family and stuff. But then we'll get back at it. We'll get back at it and have a lot of fun. Um, reading through Death of King Groups Kit, he's more relevant attacker. It seems like it at the cost of being less sustainable. Yeah, I mean, I personally would make that trade in a heartbeat. Himota, what's up, bud? Uh, what's your opinion on Six Star Rank 4 Awakened and Ascended Gold Pool? Uh, I, I mean, if you want to have some fun. But I, you, I would, I would think you either already have superior options on your account, or it, very soon you will. It just be a questing and getting some more crystals and things like that. Um, I mean, he's not. You can get things done with six star gold pool. I just wouldn't do that to like um, improve the strength of your account in a significant way. Uh, does Deathly Cure not have crazy regen? Yeah, uh, Aiden. Aiden's an incredibly smart player, and so breaking it down pretty quick. Uh, Reed, my family all had something like that wasn't COVID, felt really like it maybe a month ago. Yeah, I mean, essentially, that's what this was, like, or is. Uh, that's what this is. I'm going to go ahead and get started. You guys know me. I, I can't ignore the chat. I don't want to ignore the chat. That's why I can't. <laughs> I like you all. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Um... Oh, was I in a quest of some sort? What was I in? Uh, you know what? I might have been testing out silk. No. What the heck was I doing? Why would I have all those? Oh, yeah. I was doing the um, that side quest where you pick up the huge diamond thing and then you beat up Noel. I was doing that. I had like, I don't know, 15 flowers or something like that. Um, I, I'm slightly ruining an opening. But I did pull Silk. I finally got Silk. I'm so excited. I've taken her to rank two um, in just pure elation. And um, I'm definitely learning her. She, the skill cap on her is a little higher than I thought it was. And I do think the Awakened ability would be pretty nice for a lot of the like variety of uses that I want to use her for. Uh, but I'm a big fan. I'm, pretty, I'm very, very excited. Uh, those of you who've been following my channel for quite a while, especially people on the Discord, know that um, I've been wanting Silk for quite a while. So... I think, I, like I said, I wasn't kidding around. I, I believe I have what is essentially the ideal team for this. Um, uh, let's see here. We definitely want Hulkling. Let's get in there. And um, we want, of course, I'm already blanking. I cannot think. Uh, we want him, Masakura, because I used to use Masakura a lot in this meta, I recall. Um, there she is. There's my girl. Throw some chairs around. And, uh, who's the other champion we really want? I'm going to do the right side first. Oh, Kate. For that, um, for that, uh, fortunately Red Skull was not buffed yet when this was, uh, the war tactic and all that stuff. He's, he's nasty. He's a nasty fellow. He's a nasty fellow. Um... 
Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I said hello, but what's up, bud? Thanks for being here. Isn't what's up, Vega? I do planner. Nice. Last week and have everything ready to rank to him. The bus is good as your pew. Yeah, they, I, I'm really glad to see that, dude. That you are waiting to make sure. Uh, <laughs> I, it's been pretty pretty funny. Uh, you know, you put out a video and you like try very hard to like convey some things. And I know not everyone watches every video, and I know not most people don't watch a whole video, so it's easy to miss some stuff. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I believe that the buff will go live as it was, but we have not had that confirmed. So yeah, but uh, in fact, we'll do that in a few minutes. I'll send mine. I finally got the Ascension Dust and I'll send mine, so I'm pumped up. What's up, Dilly? What's up, Dilly? All right, so we've got um, Hulkling for Venom. We will use Titania for Kindred. We'll use Hulkling for Future Ant-Man. Uh, I, this Red Skull is going to be tough. I, I, I have a feeling I'm going to struggle with it, and that's okay. Uh, we'll probably use Titania for Sassy. Titania for Wolf. And what's this node? Stunning Reflection. I used to use Masakre for... Uh, Mysterio. So, you know, if nothing else else than Nostalgia, we'll probably go with that. And then we will switch out. Uh, this is a choice node, right? Yeah, we'll bring in uh, Mantis for this. I'm also seeing that I have a new alliance mate, it looks like. Oh, that's cool to see. Uh, Aiden, gladiator changes have been confirmed as unchanged. Ooh, really? I did not know. I don't know where you guys get all this information from. As of the updated notes com uh, comparison they released yesterday, I listened to all of Simula's ver uh, video on that and talk about me literally just saying, I know not everyone watches all every video and I know not everyone hears every part. I thought I listened to the whole thing and I did not. I heard him go over it. I didn't hear him say that it was confirmed to not change. That's awesome. Uh, Titania, does that Mysterio do something to you? Actually, before I forget, guys, I want to ascend um, this. So, if I had not already made my, like, proclamation and everything, I would, honestly, just to give an advice, because, again, I know people take away different things. I would ascend Cosmic Ghost Rider. I've been using him a ton in Battlegrounds, um, this meta. He's phenomenal. He's amazing. I'm learning how to take Photon with him and things like that. So, without all of the the build up and the things I've been doing, I would actually ascend Cosmic Ghost Rider because I know for a fact he is one of the best, you know, Cosmics and all that stuff. And I really enjoy playing him. But I said I would do it with Gladiator. I also feel very, very confident that Gladiator, that was a pun was not intended, will be a top Cosmic. I don't think he's going to be as widely usable and as relevant as Cosmic Ghost Rider, but I think he's going to be a blast and very powerful. So I am doing this because I said I would. Uh, but, you know, you know, take away from that uh, what you will. So, all right, let's go ahead and do the quest now. Um, uh, Michael. Yeah, but I mean, like, look, I'll just say it is uh, I am I am retiring from tier one war. I am retiring from tier one war. And it's it's kind of the same thing is um, I really think the post was great. It shocked me. Like, literally, if you guys follow me on Twitter or saw my community posts, I said I needed to see serious change and I needed to see it like, I don't know. Um, like I said, I wasn't feeling well, so I'm sure I was probably trying hard to speak very forcefully. And I was probably like, I need to see it really, really, really soon <laughs> uh, to convey that I needed to see it really soon. And um, like literally the next day, I think it was less than 24 hours, a post with Almost everything I would have asked for. Like if they had come to me and said, hey, Vega, what would you like changed about war? And how could we fix some of these bugs that have been happening to, you know, alliances in your tier and lower tiers? I, I would have like basically handed them the letter and then they like implemented all of it uh, down to like helping the alliances who enlisted in wars and, and then were unenlisted somehow. Um, but I, I think going through that process just realized like with my life and and enjoyment at tier one's not it for me and it's hard because i really enjoy my alliance mates a lot i mean they are why i went back to tier one uh i think it was towards the end of last year 
and I had an absolute blast playing tier one war with them. You know, we got top 10 masters, I think every single season. Um, we were even like in place for, I think top three, one season, uh, going into the final week. And then we just, you know, we got beat by some alliances who were playing better than us. So it's actually going to be really hard for me. Like I, it, it reminds me of like when I retired from sports and things like that, uh, I'm going to miss playing alongside those guys a lot, but ultimately you, you, you got to do what's enjoyable. And if, if the, if the deathless champion chase isn't enjoyable, I, I just don't do it, man. I know it sucks. Cause it's like, you want to take part in it. You know, I want to take part in tier one, uh, but I got to recognize it's just not, it ain't for me, man. It ain't for me. So I got to read the tea leaves. As they say, I, 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 I've kind of, I will also say I've gotten very tired of shouting into the void, right? Like I, and I, I got to that point too. Uh, I think it was a day or two ago. Whereas like, I'm just shouting, like I'm kind of just angry and I'm just shouting and people are telling me that uh, I'm not making sense. And so I was like, I guess I'll just go away then. Uh, so that's where we're at. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously not very happy about it. I'm obviously not very happy. All right, uh, here we go. That was sad story time with Vega. Uh, what is this? This is the this is the one where he gets the armor up node, right? Well, the defenders next to armor up, they're immune to... Okay, so we're just going to Hulk lean this until it goes well. There's a chance it goes poorly quite a few times. Because uh, we're using Hulk lean and, like, it's an Alliance War showcase. Let's go ahead and use uh, Power Backs. Since I won't be using these in war anymore. Uh, might as well use them now. All right, let's do this. Let's do this thing. He's got almost 400,000 health. That feels like a lot. Let's spade out this SP1. That's the kind of mistake. Like, I know we all make those mistakes anyway. Ah, uh, shoot. And now, this is how I've been playing lately, guys. Like, this has been my Battlegrounds experience. I am just playing, like, absolute total butt. Yeah, like right there. Like that, that's just how it's been going. So we'll just keep restarting. I might keep making that same sort of just gameplay air. I've been getting caught on dashbacks. I've been getting caught by specials. I've been um, sending opponents red. Like it's just, like I said, anyone who's played me in Battlegrounds, uh, and I think quite a few of you actually, I could tell, or at least I thought from the emoji responses were like, are you okay? <laughs> Are you doing left or right side? I'm intending to do the uh, the right side. If I can, I'm going to get it all done. But, you know, playing like that, uh, it might not go too fast. Does he man well here? Got to do what's best for you, for your account. Kabam is killing war, not going to lie. Manuel, uh, I think for someone like me, they I, I think for someone like me, they have. Uh, actually, I literally know they have. Um, and, and I tried to word my posts and stuff well, um, one, cause you guys know me. I don't, I don't like just being angry and yelling. Um, I don't think it helps anyone, but, uh, yeah, I mean, for, for me, yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. And it, it bothers me. Like I, I played this game essentially with war as my centerpiece for the game uh, since season one. It's why I, you know, would chase champions. It's why I would rank them up. It's um, it's why I chose to try to get better at the game. Uh, my channel had a lot to do with that, obviously, but I started the channel because of war. Um, so it's hard. It, it's, it's like... Um, uh, a lot of you probably won't know what I'm talking about, but there's an old movie called Fight Club. And um, 
there's a scene, I love this scene. It's one of my favorite scenes from the whole movie. It's, it's a great movie. It's got some, you know, it, I don't know how well it's aged. Um, but essentially they're, they're fighting. It's, a, it's called Fight Club and they fight. And there's a club. I know, I'm shocking you. Uh, but they're, they're underneath this bar and they're having their fight club. And the owner of the bar shows up and it's this amazing scene, and I won't spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it. Um, but the the group kind of shows to the owner, they're like, I need this. Don't take this from me. And they're like impassioned. And I realized, I realized like that's kind of been me of late, uh, where I can understand why a lot of people I'm coming off as crazy. But for me, it's like, don't do this. Like, I love this about this game. It's why I played this game. Um, but I've, I've got to read the writing on the wall, which is like, they ain't making it for me no more. And uh, that's okay. Eventually I'll be okay. <laughs> All right, making content with the defender has a chance to grant the attacker 12 seconds. Okay, but I think we don't, yeah, we're buffing means so we're good. Hazard shift bleed, shock. I think we don't need to worry about it because of Titania being decay, right? So much of the stuff, like, I retain it for a season and it just goes away. Uh, just are immune to placebo buffs when they trigger a buff immunity. We flip to 20%. Okay, so we'll eventually go fine and then we'll gain the resistance. Um, cool. Uh, yeah. And if we need to, we'll revive and heal. I don't care. I, I don't. We're just, we're just getting this done. I was, uh, I knew I was late, so we didn't even go for it. Let's see, let's see if, uh, let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can end it. Like I said, as I like to say, why have a chair if you're not gonna throw it? We always go to our SB3 at Titania. And then we heavy people down. Oh! There's the old fashioned Intimidate working as it should. <laughs> How many Intimidates did we have up? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's the thing though, right? Is it being, not not being cheeky. We will be uncheeky for a second. Oh, only a second. Uh, we did just throw, knock him down with the special or them down with the special and then heavy them to the face which typically tells the AI they're in danger and should throw their special. So, you know, it is what it is. It's a, it's a, it's a risk I knew I was taking. Uh, Aiden, for me, what's killing me is planning until the diversity fix I've been having. So, I, I mean, that's, yeah, yeah, let's all just complain. Like, it, I, I don't want to try to be positive just for the sake of trying to be positive. I think that's been another thing, you know, like plans and I'm grateful for my planners. I have amazing planners. Plans have been taking longer and longer and longer to come out, and I can understand why. It's like, all right, we've got this bullseye and that bullseye. Good God, there's eight bullseyes. <laughs> like, how many horsemen do we have? Uh, and like, how many fights are we gonna send people to knowing that they're gonna have to heal even if the fight goes well? Old movie? <laughs> it's an old movie, Dilly. <laughs> Fight Club is an old laser. I'm sorry. It's just true. There's only two rules of Fight Club. I know. Damn it. I was trying my best not to talk about it, but the people got to know. The people have to know. Uh, did anyone immediately know what scene I was referring to? I'm curious about that, too. I love that scene. I, I, I just, it's one of the, like, apex scenes of the whole movie, in my opinion. Um, a lot was on the communication for me. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we're talking about war. I mean, the thing is, right, is I, I, you know, I always try to like place myself in their shoes and I get it that, um, you know, you try stuff, 
you try stuff and you don't know how exactly it's going to land because you're trying a new thing. Wow, nice block, dude. I really blocked that well, huh? Um, like the tactic last season was so freaking hard, guys. It was insane. But, um, I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, I would get on like a, uh, not Zoom, still in work brain. I would get on a uh, Discord call with like Hot Fuzz and Bitter Steel and Royu was there and Nah and uh, Rai and um, Lord Gara and DLL. It just like, would just have a blast, like going over fights and like the nitty gritty of it and this like tiny little like frame, split frame nuance and and i got a lot better at it. had a great season please don't take it from us loot mike that's exactly it thank you mike i feel seen i feel seen thank you uh and we would do all that and i'd had a blast but that's kind of where i'm at now is i was like okay i did that for like a few weeks <laughs> i got a job to do i got kids to take care of i got a wife that i want to hang out with i got friends i want to see like I can't spend three hours going over my war fights. Like, I. But for the people who can, more power to them. I'm glad they're enjoying it. Oh, the streams been like, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what to. I don't know what to do about that. Uh, all right, what's even this node? Uh, the defender is knocked down by heavier special. They will become debuff immune. Okay, I see why people are saying Kate. Doesn't Kate have like true, she has true something on her specials too. So do we not have to worry about his uh, auto block at all? <laughs> true accuracy. Uh, I think true accuracy gets around auto block, doesn't it? True accuracy on specials. Thanks, Aiden. Milan, what's up, bud? Uh, anyone else lose to the Drews? Hey. Uh, I, I mean, on that one, like, I feel so badly for so many of you. I know they're trying, though, right? They don't get that post out. They don't make all those changes. Like, they actually changed the tactic. Like, someone must have spent, I don't know how many amounts of hours getting that all fixed up. Like, that is the sort of thing Kabam never does. I literally can't remember them doing that. Like, that's why it shocked me so much. And so, like, I think someone spent a ton of time thinking these things through. And then, like, a mistake that, like, is easy to make got made. It sounds like, if I'm understanding it, based on the information I know. And like, that's when I'm just like, I just feel badly for everyone. Like, I can't even get mad. I won't get mad at Kabam for that because every single thing about that post and the time and hours they put in leads me to believe that like someone cared, someone cared and tried. And that's for me, the big deal is like, someone cared, someone tried, mistakes happen. Hopefully they get it cleaned up and fixed up. And I'm sorry for everyone who was negatively affected by it. I th Reed was in here earlier. Uh, saying so i'm sure it hit other alliances too all right oh shoot did i put on the cold snap i don't know if i did i don't know if i did you know what will this allow me to uh hit into his block all those withers i kind of want to test it out just for like kicks and giggles oh why did he go unstoppable why did that happen nope they do not help you they do not protect you I gotta admit, I uh, I should stop and... What am I doing wrong? I'm doing something wrong. What's up, Grass? No. No, I think period. Unfazed on these defenders. Cool. Um... 
Refresh the cold time and keep the protection down. All right. Um, I'm there's I'm not seeing I'm not I'm not uh this was not a fight that I ever took in because uh, Red Skull is not buffed when this went live so that's why the rest of them I either have taken the fight before um, basically land SP one and bait so SP ones from him and heavy can oh heavy counter it he won't auto block his auto block feels different than other auto blocks like um. In fact, I should look up and see if it's written that way in his abilities. Red Skull will auto block your first hit, where uh, the Overseer, you got to hit him twice, I think. Uh, yeah, because I'll, sometimes I'll hit him once. Um, heavy him after this one. Thanks, guys. All right, I'll try it, and then I'll, I'll, I'll read the chat. Okay, why did he go unstoppable there? This dude goes unstoppable right now. Okay, good. That was fun. That was a good time. Um. It's unfortunate literally because it knocked my alliance into tier three. Now I fear that even if they compensate for losing the next war. Which you know means like if it happened to you, it probably happened elsewhere too, right? Um and even if it didn't, that's 30 people playing the game, trying their best, working hard every day. You know. Uh, I, I I I think I I believe there are people at Kabam who want war to be a lot of fun and not necessarily everyone to play tier one. They just want anyone to have fun with whatever tier they're playing. It's just the mode. I don't know. I don't have the solution. Otherwise I would offer one. Uh, but like I said, I, I think, um, feels like we should be using war potions for this. Um, although war players are probably like, no, good God, no, don't say that. Um, I think who, like I said, the changes that were made, the the tone of the po uh, post, the fact that it was all done so quickly, I don't, I know it wasn't because of my post. I'm, so when I say quickly, I don't mean like, wow, I wrote a post and 24 hours later, they were like, we fixed it for you, Vega. I mean that like, I don't even think we were at the midway point of the season. Maybe we were, um, like I said, I've been sick for two weeks, but that's very, very fast. It feels like normally what they would do is be like, now let's play the season out. We'll figure out some sort of compensation. Everyone be quiet. We'll get to you in a few months. So I, I think some people really care. Some people work their butt off, I'm sure, over time, you know. Uh, and I, and I, I believe that they will get all that stuff sorted because I think there's some people who really care. And I'm sorry in the meantime. I don't know what else to say, and I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Red Skull is awful now. What's up, Trevor? <laughs> uh, same look I had on my face, Envious Hero. Yeah, I, I like. I think I, I, I think we've got him almost out now. Uh, I'm a little Pollyanna-ish on that one. <laughs> we got him like 70% of the way down. I, I don't think I want to learn this fight better. I think I just kind of want to uh, must. I want to Kate Bishop my way through it. I want to muscle my way through it. Thanks, thanks. I appreciate it. By chance, you realize I absolutely will. Um, if I, for some reason, forget, because uh, I don't feel good, do not hesitate to remind me. I absolutely want to read your message. Okay. Feels like that'll be handy, uh, a handy little trick in Battlegrounds, too. I, I obviously don't know how uh, Unface actually works. Um. 
quick question. I tried to do this two days ago and I had to stop and get away for work. I quit out, but I'm ready tonight. Am I screwed for rewards? No, uh, you're talking about this Alliance, this Alliance War Showcase? It, obviously, you are, you've got to be. N no, my understanding is that little timer, uh, right where it says like 142 and 50 seconds as I'm speaking, that's how long you have to complete the quest in like one run. It's not how, it's not like you entered and now you must defeat this in an, two hours or it goes away forever. I think, I, I'm not sure what the intention was there, to be honest. I, I, I think there was an intention for there to be a time limit. I, I don't know what it was, but you should be able to go back in. In fact, I'm positive you can, because I know at some point uh, I did enter this just to take a look at it and then backed out. Uh, Milan, I'm a bit annoyed, but not angry. As like I said, I agree that there are definitely some people at Kabam who really care about the game. It's just a shame their decision-making and overall execution isn't better. Yeah, I, <laughs> yes. If I could, I would do my uh, Professor X 100% emoji. Uh, ending a buff like Dex makes him unstoppable. Interesting. Is that in phase or is that in his kit? Or was that the node and I just didn't read it? It's not in phase, says Aiden. Okay. You think it's a sugar pill tactic? The pressioncito. It's a tactic. But didn't I have up enough? Debuffs? What's up, TJ? Anytime you lose a buff, the defense a chance to go unstoppable, so even Dex's count. It's the tactic, sugar pull. No debuff immune node. Oh, oh. Uh, Kate wasn't tactic, right? I don't even know. Okay, ebb and flow knockdown, yada, 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 sassy squatch. Let's get to our chair and throw it. Uh, debuffs don't prevent unstoppable. What am I remembering that? That's, that's what does concern me slightly. Um, it, that is one of the worst interactions in the game. I, I'm sorry, I don't care. I don't care if you have stand your ground. Um, champions should not be able to parry your heavy. I just, I just will never agree with that. Like, I'm not saying that that's not how it's written. I'm saying I don't find that fun. Was I not supposed to use Titania for this? He's going debuff immune, isn't he? Oh, my, uh, my Alliance War planners, TJ is one of them, are like, this makes so much sense about Vegas fights now. <laughs> Come on, dude. Throw your SP2. You know you want to. And throw your SP1. Get yourself all tuckered out. Good sassy. All right, dude, throw. You're not watching, don't worry. <laughs> Thanks, TJ. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he didn't read notes. <laughs> Um, this is going to get tricky. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm struggling to think of how we're going to do this. Because this big boy is going to start healing up. Uh, accidental striker. Titanium plus tactic does enough damage through protection that you can brute force it with no knockdown. So don't knock him down. End with, end with the big SP3. Don't knock down. 
Thank you. It's like you guys knew I was going to pause the game and come read the chat. No, knock down. Thanks. Don't knock down and rely on despair. Pray to the despair gods. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if I can stay alive. Uh, I think he had five rage stacks, so he's probably definitely going to live through this. So we may have to revive. That's fine. Yeah, the SP3 ain't getting it done. Don't SP3 unless it will kill. What you can do is knock him down before special three to get the protection off, but you gotta be sure it'll kill or he regens. How's it going? Hey! How you doing, bud? I'm doing all right. Um, I'm like, well, you know me. I don't need to explain what I'm doing. You know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, I'm going in without a plan. Um, so my soccer could do this. Probably. Uh, he's yeah. going to have trouble with... The, no, because you're not going to get the slow up, actually. You might be able to get through it. Why would he... Dude, it's wild how quickly I forget stuff. Because when you dex, he's going to go unstoppable. Doesn't it, it soccer was tactic though? It's right, like, but the tactic only solves the unstoppable if you knock them down and put a slow debuff on them, which right going, back at it clears. And he's going debuff from you. Yeah. Okay, fine. You're gonna make me use the chair. <laughs> I'm sure everybody knows, but in case you don't, this is the DLL. Wookie Long Legs is here. What's up, William? <laughs> Will's been enjoying that one. If if Will only knew, uh, oh yeah, the I like it too. Uh -oh. I've told you about how the last two weeks uh, I have been sending opponents red like nonstop. Like my gameplay is so bad, so so bad. Mm -hmm. I'm slowly not doing it. Um, like right there. Uh, and then my uh, my sunspot did crit the other day, 
So that was cool. Uh, Yay. If, if, yeah, it was really neat. <laughs> if he didn't, uh, Nick Fury would have gone red and I would have lost a BG match I had no business losing. Uh, but he crit, so all was good. Um, uh, Titania, right? Make contact with the a chance to grant the attacker. Okay, Conflictor, Hazard Shift, Shock Bleed. Uh, I will almost definitely get caught by some blockable and stoppables here. And, I uh, definitely did. Yeah. <laughs> I, so Not proud of that. There is like a bit of a nostalgia with this that I think, you know, oh, okay, there it is. All right. I remember getting sent to a werewolf fight um, and being like, I, this is about as good as it's going to get. Uh, like, and uh, I soloed it. I think it was with a photon. This just in, Titania is really good. Yup. I know that she's busted for this showcase, but I was using her honestly primarily because I just didn't get to use her when the tactic was live. <laughs> That's right, you pulled your Titania, I mean, not late, but like for the Alliance and Lovely I think band. she might have even been rank two for this, but it's just that she was perma banned, and so like I was using Quicksilver and Photon both seasons. That's right. That's right. That's right. I kind of recall us being like, Quicksilver is actually kind of good. <laughs> uh, Forgotten's here. What's up, bud? Thanks for being here. Forgotten's one of the people that kicked my ever living butt. I remember uh, that was you, Forgotten, right? I realize your name's. Um... Uh, there may be another one or, you know, with different spellings or things like that in the game. And you also might be like, sorry, Vague, I don't recall fighting you. Uh, but at some point in the last couple of weeks, and you would have beat me anyway, from what I recall, but it was definitely one where I was like, I just played like, I figured the person on the other side was like, is he okay? Uh, if you're pushing people red all the time, then you're having too many pages out of TJ, but I've been enjoying your war video. So <laughs> what's up, Odie? Odie's here. What's up, buddy? Uh, can you please come back to this card? Absolutely, dude. Out You're always welcome. Like, um, uh, if anyone who can send an invite out can do that, uh, please yeah, do that. Yeah, he just posted in the official Discord. I'll find him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, Odysseus. With honors, my friend. Um, and still don't have so much. I'm sorry. She is... She is next level. Uh... Yeah, I don't. Let's just go. Let's just go. That's how we do it now. That's how we do it. Eat? Whoa. Uh, okay. Um, getting your phone wet with uh, the perspiration of your ice cold soda is not helpful to gameplay. <laughs> there, that should be better. I wanted to be like input issues, uh, but apparently, if your screen is covered in water, it's uh, the game can't do much about it. Fast. That was fast. That was fast. That was fast. That was fast. Uh, on, can I join? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We just need a, uh, and I can do it. Actually, I should probably take a second anyway and put the phone down. I apologize if I accidentally like in the stream or something somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, with the uh, with the new with the new um oh Aiden, thanks, buddy. I appreciate you, you handling it, but I had already created one, so uh, but those invites will lead you to the exact same place with the new official Discord, which I have to say is way better uh, than I thought it would be. Like thirty, like about thirty minutes after it went live, 
I joined it and um, <laughs> I was I was ready to move to. A I'm farm. really glad I was working for the first bit. Yeah, I honestly <laughs> was like, I need to cut off all ties, all internet access to everything, and just live live the rest of my days on a farm where I can roam free with the other old people. <laughs> um, but I, you know, it's like anything else, initial excitement and, and stuff, and. Um, uh, I went and right before bed last night, I uh, I went and hung out on there. I think I saw Karate Mike. Uh, DLL, I believe I saw you there. Um, I saw a couple other people yeah. that, that I know and, and chat with. Yeah, it just it would have been an odd time at night. It was probably like almost 11 o'clock p.m. Pacific. So uh, I think a lot of the community is probably sleeping at that time. Uh, and then I was on for a few seconds this morning. You know, it was it was legitimately fun. Like. I was like, oh, okay. People are asking real questions about the game, and like, this is cool. It was cool. Anyways, uh, the point of that was, I think, with people joining that, I could see more people being interested in Discord and things like that. So we've got a really nice server. It's a small culture. It's a diff definitely a different culture. Um, but anyone who wants to go and learn and talk about the game and have fun and that kind of stuff, I think it's a good place. All right. Uh, I know I've taken this fight before. Something. What was I doing wrong? Oh, I got to knock him down. That's what I was doing wrong. Uh, I used to take this fight all the time. Like I, w I literally took him on hazard shift. I don't think it was the one with brute force, though. It was uh, section one, far right side. All right, let's see what we can do. Rai, what's up, buddy? Striker on? How is that? <laughs> wow, dude, there's no way I would have thought I would I would not have a. I didn't even think to check. How do I not have a striker on? Hmm, that's not good. Don't do that. Anyone who still hasn't done this quest, don't do not do these things. Uh, Aiden, no worries, man. I appreciate you taking care of it. Thank you. Um, all right, well, we'll just keep going. Uh, I, I think he's actually my best option for this. So, yeah. It's amazing how quickly this stuff goes, though. Yeah, Dilly, that's the other thing. You're right. Uh, for those who, who aren't reading the chat, you don't need to worry about the damage back mechanic of uh, Mysterio. Thank you for reminding me. Yep, which is very nice because it means that once you're ignited, you can heavy counter the special one. It makes things a lot easier. I did not mean to parry there. I had one an accidental one myself. Please, Louise. I knew that I probably wouldn't play great, but uh, Mysterio is playing me like a fool right now. Uh, average Adam, we don't need no stinking rust. Yeah, and you see how it turns out. <laughs> I don't need rust. I've got revives. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay. Uh, well, I really want Deathless King Groot. <laughs> uh, I gotta go open up some crystals though, because I don't want to use uh, I don't want to use units unless I need to. Let's open up some of these. Um, 
get back to the quest. Uh, titan use Titania, Ace? Not to self a face again. Uh, be uh, Dilly, right now you could place like anyone. Yeah, and you got a good chance. You got a good chance. Use Titania? All right, I'll try Titania. All right, all right. You guys are going to force me to. Um, yeah, that's fine. Huh. Dude, this guy is just like... He's like Muhammad Ali right now. He's doing whatever he wants to me. Unbelievable. Come on, homie. Throw it. Oh, man. <laughs> Are you laughing Sorry, at... I'm... No, I'm also on the official Discord. Uh. <laughs> Just to give an idea of where my mind is at right now, I was like, wait, why aren't I at my SP3 yet? This just in, Titania is good. Uh, DL the keyboard warrior in the server. <laughs> are you clown? Are you clowning fools? Are you clowning fools? For those of you who don't know, uh, back in my day, that meant like uh, setting straight people who are acting poorly. <laughs> I got you. Uh, man. I'm trying to figure out, you know why? I, I'm remembering now why Masakura doesn't have a uh, a striker. Poor guy. He's like, yeah, used to be one of your favorites. Well, Masakura, that was a long time ago. Uh, uh, that was before Elsa Bloodstone uh, went to rank two. You're making, wanna, you're making me want to. You're making me want to check sorry. the Discord. No, because like every like twenty seconds, I hear like a little like. <laughs> People are trying to. It's just like the classic um, that you see on Reddit sometimes. People are trying to pull the like, but you're okay with us paying for revives as a gotcha. It's mm. like, yes, that is in fact different than having infinite free ones. Well. <laughs> Didn't you take a vow of poverty when you signed a contract with Kabam? I thought you guys were like a monastery. Like in uh Yeah, like, they they yeah. have free rooms for us. We grow our own food. Yeah. They ship it to me here yeah. in Texas yeah. as I work remotely yeah. on my Amish computer. Mm, yes. You you guys brew your own beer and sell it, right? To kind of like supplement. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I code with an abacus. <laughs> I'm brilliant. No. <laughs> Uh. Photon, that was not nice of you, Photon. <laughs> I I spent a revive on her with Black Cat because she caught me with a sidestep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I I've gotten so used to just diving in. Uh and then I will admit that um playing Titania probably didn't help me. Uh, as far as just muscle memory being like, I'm just going to dive in with a, for, uh, a medium. <laughs> so. Um, this computer's powered by potatoes. Well, you got to make the vodka somehow, Dilly. If you're going to have all those potatoes lying around. I mean, come on. 
Uh, all right. There's not really a way to code a rule like that, Dilly, just to touch on it. Like, try to imagine how you would put that in code. You are not allowed to dash back if the opponent is in their dash animation. Like that, I promise you that would have weird knock-ons. I mean, I don't like them sidestepping either. And honestly, I do have some thoughts about that, but it's not that simple. I'm a little worried because uh, my gameplay is going and I still have a whole left side to do. But uh, I guess that's a problem I'll handle later. I was kind of, I was really hoping to get this done. Um, so I could just go into the weekend and like maybe do battlegrounds every once in a while. Sidestepping, um, it oh, and sometimes called what we used to call it step backs. Yeah. Um, is for you as a player, it's like when Domino charges at you and you dex out of the way for medium and then throw a light attack and smack her in the face. Um, that is a sidestep. Doesn't always have to be a light, but like it works against some characters, not against others. It works a lot better if you are frame perfect and shallow decks, meaning you decks without triggering dexterity. It's much easier to do. Unfortunately, the AI <laughs> is pretty good at shallow dexing. <laughs> and so they're quite good at it in general. And it's just because the game's gotten faster and more efficient over time. Excuse me. Over time. Uh, no it's definitely something we'd like to address at some point. Uh, the no no black hat. Yeah, uh, despite what you're seeing, I'm actually much more comfortable in this with the Mantis for this. This is just, like I said, I, 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 I do not feel well. Uh, gameplay is going, but I don't really have another time that I can do this. But uh, this is who I would use. I, I'm actually recalling, I think I was in 4BGs. Um, but I've soloed this as... I've, like, done this fight. Um, in, in actual war. <laughs> Sorry. Now I'm laughing because somebody is saying, well, it's like, they're allowed to make the decision. I'm just wanting honesty. And he hasn't responded to any of my comments. <laughs> I just want Kabam to be honest. And then when they are honest, I'm going to pretend they didn't say anything. Oh, the walking towards and light jab is the one for me, Agent. I hate it so much. <laughs> I've spent a fair amount of time working with um, working with AI stuff since joining the company, I'll say. And so, like, I'm very aware how difficult it is to, quote, just fix all of this stuff. But that doesn't mean we're not trying and that we don't care, right? It's just something that has to go slowly. What's up, Neil? Uh, oh, that's where everyone's been getting the photon emote from. Or was it? Didn't you get that for yeah. Battlegrounds this year or this season? No, that's that's the correct one. I forget what was Battlegrounds at the moment. Oh, the wolf. I really like it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, I, it's a good one. I use it all the time. <laughs> um, all right. <sighs> Against my better judgment, we're going to try to do this left side. Actually, uh, DL, you, you can be around for at least five more minutes. Yeah. We're going to be right back screen just for uh, a minute. Uh, you guys hang out with DLL. And uh, I'll be right back, I think. If I can figure out how to turn off the camera. Bye. All right, I'll be right back.
sing us a song. <laughs> Adjust your stat focuses for your seven star defenders. Oh, I need to adjust my stat focus on my new Hyperion. He's unduped before anybody gets too jealous, but happy to get him the first time. No, I am not the piano man, that's Campo. I am not completely clueless at a piano, but um, a year of class piano does not actually teach you that much. Excuse me. Why do the ducks have a special noise, but the wolf doesn't have a howl sound when he howls? So, I don't have a ton of... Oh god, I'm about to sneeze. I'm sorry, one sec. So, I don't have a ton of insight into the audio process, honestly. But, as far as I understand it, it is easier to attach audio to animations that like everyone has such as hit reacts because everyone like already has audio tied to their hit reacts right everyone makes the default eh, sound um and so i think it's pretty simple for the audio person to just replace that with a weird duck squeaky thing um whereas for wolf howling that's like a custom animation and they probably have to do more work for it and it probably just i don't know didn't work out within the scope of that something that uh isn't talked about a ton is that we do have like internal ratings for this the art scope of characters meaning that just like you know every few months we have some characters that we call out as like hey this one's gonna have some really weird vfx and or animations um so they need some more time and to make sure that our artists don't burn out we're gonna compensate for that with over here um this person doesn't need a whole lot of support Uh, Shocker isn't technically supposed to ignore armor ace. He just inc he basically reduces a lot of it. I'm curious what you mean by ignoring armor, because if you're just noticing that characters with high armor are causing him to do less damage, that's correct, right? Because against characters with low armor, he's sending armor negative, which increases the relative damage. Uh, would I rank three bullseye? I would at least consider it. Um, we're starting... We're kind of in that spot where, like, I feel like prestige on seven stars matters a little more. So it would depend on, like, are my other rank threes unduped? But I would be open to it. He's very strong. And I think he's a way underrated attacker and a rank three would slap. Hey, uh, real quick, I need to, um, yeah. first of all, thanks for thanks for taking care of that. Um, I need to figure out my team real quick. Um, I'll Titania, I'll Hulkling, Titania. Yeah, what did I do for this side? I think I did uh, Hulkling, Titania, Kushala. Ooh, get to bring Kushala? Oh yeah, for gore. Yeah, I brought Kushala for the gore. Um... And then I think I brought Masakre again for the Mysterio. Oh, well, that went well for me. Um, yeah, if, if you want to swap him out for Void. <laughs> if the Defender is three powers, Buster. That one I tanked with Titania, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> not particularly proud of it. Yeah, no, I... Uh... Jeez, but, like, I... the, the hard counter for this is, like, Iron Man. And I just couldn't be bothered i don't think i have i don't remember that i don't is this a node that's active in current war yeah that's the second node on 6b do i just always take this with iron man and that's why i'm like i have no i i'm like i it feels I, like i'm reading i this think note. i've literally seen you assigned iron man there yeah because yes. i'm like i don't <laughs> i'm like i don't recognize this node at all 
It's like I've seen you read it for going block unblockable. It being a threat that doesn't sound right. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if I if I use <laughs> if I use Hulkling, why does my headset feel weird? Um, if I use Hulkling, Titania, Titania, Iron Man, Kushala, then I've got a problem with uh, Zemo. Hulkling works for Zemo. Uh, He's shock immune. Um, I just hit him to block. I like I hit him a few times during the shock phase. Yeah. But for the most part, I was just dancing around, hitting him to block, not worrying about when I went unblockable. And then finally, I threw the special two while unblockable during shock. I think I had to do that twice, maybe three times. Yeah. And honestly, I'm not feeling well enough to try to like um, do like a higher skill play right now. So I'm fine. I'll just and I'll accept that I'll Titania through Mysterio. And unironically, there's always power backs for Teddy. Yeah, yeah. I actually had them on early. I was I I knew I don't feel well, and so I was just like. Yeah, then, no shame. Yeah, like exactly. Uh, and then Kushala for that. Take care, Owen. Or yeah, Kushala works well. Um, given your ranks, I would do that. I probably would have had a better time with long shot, but I just wanted to try it. Who did you use again? Uh, I used Kushala, but I think long shot is actually just a little bit faster for the gore. Um, let me make sure all my boosts are on. Nope. Um... Uh, Maurice, if you have neither Kashala nor Longshot, then I think uh, Tigra and Hood are the other two I like. Uh, oh, and White Tiger. Duh. Yeah, easy got there. Um... Let's see here. Hey, Stan. Mm -hmm. And that. And, uh... Do you know, I, I'm not asking you to defend it. I want to make that very mm -hmm. clear. Uh, I'm more, I genuinely asking for, do you know what the reasoning was or the thought process was for um, the time limit on the quest? Yeah, I think the idea there was, like, we're not going to throw the five minutes on each fight, but we want there to be some time pressure element, because, like, you're not having to coordinate with other people, you're not having to worry about timing out. Yeah. Um, but, like, time pressure is an element of war, and the idea was to reflect that. Whether it will come back in this form or another next time, I don't know. Uh, that's interesting. But like, yeah, that was the idea. Yeah, I can see. And we were, uh, I don't, you probably didn't catch the earlier part of the stream. We were talking about a lot of variety of things. Um, I did it. I did announce that I'm, you know, I'm leaving tier one war and a variety of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but one of the things we did talk about is I was like, look, I get it. Like, you, you, they try stuff. Like, they don't, they don't know. They don't know exactly what's going to work. It's the first time for things. And that kind of feels like that. Um, I figured there would be a good rationale. I just didn't know what it was. I don't know. I don't think I have like a strong opinion. I, I and I don't know if I read people having strong opinions on it one way or the other. I don't know. I'll admit I haven't read a lot of the feedback on uh, on this quest though. I do think it's one of those quests where man. Um, I do think it's a situation where, as a tier, as someone who is used to tier one, it feels like, yeah, this feels about right, you know? Mm -hmm. um, like, I'm making a mistake and I die. Like, yeah, that feels about right. But if you don't make mistakes, you win. And yep. it doesn't feel... The Mysterio... Um... That's Mysterio, though, right? And I was using, I guess, not an ideal counter. I could swear I used to take that fight all the time, though. I'm trying to remember. I mean, obviously, not having the striker hurt. Did I used to have, like, a synergy, though, or something? I, I want to go back and watch my own war videos now. 
Because I could swear I used to do that fight. The Hulkling one? Uh, no, Sorry. no, no. It's okay. Uh, Mysterio into... Um, uh, not Mysterio. Uh, Miss Akre into the Mysterio. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think the biggest thing there... Um, is it that fight you really... That fight and, like, Red Skull. I think you really feel the rank difference. Because, like... This um, is not intended to be a perfect reconstruction of war. I've seen a lot of people go like, but this isn't what war is like because X, Y, and Z. And it's not intended to be exact. You know what? But, just, re sorry yeah. to interrupt you, but just for context. I, and you know, I do not read a lot. Sorry, I want to yeah. make this clear. I'm not blaming. I'm more just saying like, as someone who plays, I, I thought it was supposed to be. Like I, I for some reason I thought this was like, and we talked about that early too, uh, where someone was like a showcase and they were like, I don't know how much it like showcased war and like, I don't remember what their exact words were. Yeah. Um, and I was like, you know what? I, I, I get what you're saying. Like one, communication's tough, but uh, right. two, labeling's obviously really tough too. So anyways, go ahead. I interrupted you. Uh, but I just yeah. To and like, it's like, I think some of the messaging w uh, even was like an idea of what it's like to be in war. But like, that doesn't necessarily mean this is literally exactly what it's like. Um, yeah. Well, that's yeah, almost impossible to do, too. Like, you can't... Right. It's not yeah. a one-to-one, -one, like, you know, you don't have an officer planning for you. You don't have other people donating pre-fights for you. You have four characters here instead of two. You can restart if you mess up. Like, there's... You can farm revives for this, and you can't for war. <laughs> Like, there's, there's a lot of differences going both ways, but one of the biggest differences is definitely... Um, oh, tip, remember to use your heavy for the stagger on this guy, because it will help him not be a uh -huh. block. He's, uh, uh, he's also brutalizing my desire to... Um, <laughs> I to, see that. To dive he, in. He's being very rude. Yeah. He's being a rude, rude long shot. But yeah, that's where I was going, Dilly, is that, like, a few of the characters in particular, Red Skull, Mysterio, and to some extent Photon, being not only rank 3, but also Sig 200, stings a bit. Like, Mysterio gaining that much extra gas and making um, his effects that much more dangerous is pretty rough. I, I would... Yeah, we, we, you and I have actually DM'd off, uh, DM'd on. This is what happens to me now with Titania. Yeah. Yeah, and I think he let you get one, but only one, yeah. and then had multiples up and threw it. And it's, yeah. He's a meanie, dude. Yeah, and Vega and I have talked about this. Like, it's a little bit difficult to figure out exactly, like, where should the line be? Because I know some people are going to say it's like, well, if they're intimidated, they shouldn't throw a special. That's not where the line. Is. That's not what it says uh, either. I mean, right? Yeah, that's just very clearly not where the line ever has been or ever will be. Yeah. Um, but then you have to really think about because, I, like I said, I talked to the people about the AI, and it's like. If there's not a hard rule that effectively makes Intimidate a special lock, then you start thinking about biases and like reactions, right? Like what is the AI going to do in various places? It is more likely to block while Intimidated than it is to attack or throw um, specials. But also in general, harder AIs are more likely to throw special threes as soon as they get them. Like, that's just, that's something that's been programmed into them forever. And on top of that, one of the most effective ways that we as players tend to bait out specials is by knocking down the opponent. And so if you are constantly knocking them down by applying an Intimidate with your Heavy, then you're kind of sending the AI in two different directions, right? And so, tuning Intimidate kind of comes down to, like, which direction wins at which moment. And 
you know, I've definitely been in the camp where anecdotally, myself, it doesn't always feel like the right thing is winning, but it's also tough to say, like, how much is it off by? How much should we move the, uh, the dials, right? And if we move the wrong one the wrong way too much, then, like, what if we end up in a space where throwing heavies doesn't feel effective at baiting anymore? Now, that's terrible for a bunch of people that aren't Titania or Hulkling. Right. The one thing I, I will say, just like my two cents on, on like how it plays out, is like mm -hmm. literally what we just saw. I'm like, that makes sense. Like, I think I I did. I soloed that fight. Uh, Titania was at like twenty percent health, and and Longshot was still pretty much at full health, if I recall correctly. Like, mm -hmm. I think it would feel cheap if I could reliably just be like, all I need to do is get to my SP3 and I will now do like 400,000 damage. Like it, yeah. <laughs> it, it feels good that there is like a risk reward element to it. That if you play smartly, you kind of more put the odds in your favor, but that there is still a risk. I don't know. That's right. part of like what I like about playing her. It, it's yeah. Yeah, and that's exactly why, like, when she first came out, I told people, don't do that special three nonsense in war. Yeah. I told so many people that. And there are fights where it works, and I have done it myself in war. But, like, you bait out a special before you do it in war, right? Just to make it that much safer. Because then it's like, if they throw a special while intimidated... It's one hit into you while you're unstoppable and indestructible, and then you just back off and go, well, that was rude, right? You don't die. <laughs> um, whereas in Battlegrounds, it's very often worth... Um, what's the word? It's very often worth taking that risk. Um, because some percentage of the time, it's going to clear out the fight fast enough that you win. And the other percentage of the time where you eat a special three and you lose, you're like, that's fine. It evens out. I uh, I did something really wrong. I don't I don't take this fight. I know people die to it all the time. I don't take it. <laughs> um, it's tough. Like, it's just, it's really, really difficult to keep him throwing special ones with the power efficiency without yeah. getting backed up. Uh, you know, I would start with a parry heavy. I was going to say, it's one I open, yeah. it's not stunning reflection. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, pretty early on, I was like, I messed up. What's up, Sanskrit? Yeah, and it's a hard one to get back. Right. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for being there, Pablo. A rote conclusion. Stanti, <laughs> uh, um, yeah, dude, it was. There you go. Thanks. Yeah, I didn't want to put words in your mouth. Uh, but yeah, uh, kabam bam. What's up, bud? Um, two hours. Yeah, I hear you, Yeah, Pablo. Like, and that's why I was like, I, one. I mean, it's DLL, so I wasn't gonna sit here and be like, "All right, we got you in the hot seat now, buddy." <laughs> um, but I was also like. Um. Yeah. I, I, again, like, I'm kind of excited for this fight. I'm. I think I've taken all of some version of these before, and I've maybe even taken this one before, and I just don't remember it. Like maybe with like America Chavez. Um. Would she work for this? No. 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 Not the no, one I opened. Yeah. There's no ability power rate to reverse. I don't know if I've done this fight. Uh, but you know what's hilarious is yeah. that this is probably possible with Shocker. Nobody do that, or sorry, not Shocker, with um, with Prowler. Nobody do that in Season, but now that I'm watching this, I kind of want to see it happen. In a rank three Titania run this. By this, do you mean gore? I imagine it's uh, very possible because basically, like, if you get to a special three between Despair and the Petrifies, the fight is over. But <laughs> getting to a special three might not be fun. 
You have decay at least. Yeah, played properly. That fight's very different um, with Kushala. Yeah. I've seen it soloed, but I'll also be honest, I didn't solo it the other night. And I was just like, that's fine. I have revives expiring. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and I probably got like favorable AI. I almost, I almost drove him to his SP2 a couple of times there. But I mean, that felt very... Um, yeah, like and I that's was... kind of why I'm okay with the showcase being a little on the brutal side in general, honestly, is exactly that. I'm like, I've got revives expiring. Yeah, 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 yeah. It also feels like if I was like, if it was a true war fight, you know, I wouldn't be streaming and I'd be dialed in. Um, I don't know. The... Right. I, see why that <laughs> I definitely hard. did not prep the same way I did yeah. for this that I would for a real thing. Uh, what is this? Basically... Shock. It's just the incident shock node, yeah. Can a seven star Titania run this? Uh, Shane, you mean that gore fight or the quest in general? Because she's been like my saving grace. I don't. I think without her, I don't know if I'd be doing this right now. It just I don't feel well at all. Uh, so yeah, she in general she can do it. The gore fight, I don't think so. I think she can just because of the heal oh. reversal on the special three. And actually, Ace is saying, yeah, did Ace. this fight with rank three Titania, but got a bit lucky. And that's like exactly the response I would expect. Yeah. Okay. And I, you might not know Ace. Ace, uh, Ace, that is you, right? You're in four BGs, um, uh, streams quite a bit. Really, really very, very good player. Very good player. Yeah, I've seen him around a few okay. times. Okay. Um, what's Aiden saying? I use. Wiccan for this in season. Oh, Wiccan. Yeah, Wiccan continues to surprise me, dude. OG Highline. What's up, buddy? Thanks. Let's get that on the board. Um, if I had been feeling better, um, you guys would have seen a Wiccan video from me. And I, it's when I get back from vacation uh, soon. Um, I hopefully will do something with Wiccan. He's on the list. But there's a lot of champions on the list. So I, I don't want to make any promises, but I used Wiccan for a couple uh, tougher tactic fights and he came through like a stud. It was really cool. Great planning, of course, by my planners, but uh, yeah. Happy happy weekend, buddy. Uh, great to see you, OG Highline. Thanks for being here, bud. Uh, Ace was the Summoner Showdown finalist. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I don't I don't know how much attention I paid, but uh, I do like to shout out uh, Alliance mates and people I know and stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, uh, what was this? This is power back, hit him, and he should die. Okay. Let's go. Like that. Like, there's no way I would do that for an actual a war fight. I like Wiccan a lot. Come on. At some point, he's going to rank two. Ooh, I got really lucky. That uh, that one definitely felt like it was going to be a um, a million in the block. <laughs> yeah, it, it 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 I it was it felt like it was going to be an accidental parry, and then I was just going to get destroyed, and then I never recovered from it. Like mm. that was one where uh, I should have died earlier. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yeah. Hulkling is definitely a little bit of making it happen on this guy. Uh, but I just didn't want to bring a better counter. Yeah. Without like my mistake there, though, that we were set up to do some serious damage. Um, right. We were set up to make it work really well. I think people used um, Onslaught to, uh, to really, really just own the fight. Mm -hmm. And they chose... Um, they chose the, uh, that's another time. This is weird. I should have gotten punished there too. At least I, as I said though, guys, I have been playing so bad. I do not feel well. Um, I've been making gameplay errors left and right. So maybe my timing's that off now, but I feel like that was another, <laughs> no, I'm serious. I, I feel no, like, I know it's, it's so off. It's come back around to good. <laughs> yeah. Like I, that's funny. I didn't mean it that way, but I like your interpretation of it. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm just gonna do some damage now. Um, and just be happy about it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we all did. But I was like, I'd rather I'd rather do some damage than no damage. And so we did yep. some damage. Uh, I was like, either Vega dies right now, or Zemo charges in and he sidesteps into another special two and the fight's over. It's one of the two. I actually forgot I was running power backs. I should have done that. <laughs> Uh, let's go open up more of the, them crystals. <laughs> yeah, I'll stand by what I've said before, Joel. Magneto is the reason Zemo didn't get nerfed defensively. Magneto is the reason mm -hmm. Zemo didn't get nerfed. Like with the whole, if you're immune to something? Yup. Zemo on power back is BS. Or power snack. I think that's another fight I never took. Oh no, I think I did take it once and I did not enjoy. Yeah, it's like it's okay with an adequately sized Magneto and it's like playing with fire with anyone else. I do not I hate playing Magneto in war. It, I I'm hate insane. I what's really weird is I don't mind playing Archangel. So I can't say, hey, it's parry heavy. It but there's something about Magneto that like no, I just did not like it. Uh, yeah, it's parry heavy, but you're like intentionally being unsafe periodically too for the charging. <laughs> yeah. Are you? Oh, was, are you responding to Joel? Joel MCOC Gaming pointed it out. Yeah. 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 Um, Aiden saying they use Wiccan for Arcus on forty three of the day. I'm not loving him as a, much as Sorcerer Supreme this season, but yeah, Sorcerer Supreme has been a revelation for me. In fact, I, I told was, you she was good with stat focus. But I, I, I dude, I actually went back and checked. I because I was like, the saga is adding twenty percent attack, right? Yeah. And then I went back. No, it's ten. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. don't know where I got the number twenty from. And so I went back and checked because I was like, she's, she's not a nuke. She's definitely not a nuke. No. I'm ending fights. I'm consistently ending fights in battlegrounds faster than I thought I would with her. Much faster. Um, and William, uh, William's probably long gone. I haven't seen him chat in a bit. William was using uh, her, and he plays a very high tier battlegrounds. Very, yeah. very high tier. So, I don't know where I'm going with that. Uh, uh, that's where we went. All right. Uh, let's I mean, obligatory, she scales well with boosts because a fair amount of her damage does come from armor breaks, but still. Yeah, she's she's been doing great. But that wouldn't, well, yeah, I guess that would matter in Battlegrounds, wouldn't it? Uh, the yeah. Still, only 10%. I don't know. I will say that I guess someone who who does a tier list, um, the Saga stuff has made it a little more difficult to really be like, wait a minute, how good are they? <laughs> you know, uh, and Sorcerer's one of them. <laughs> so for those of you who understand, like, data splits, we had to put Karate Mike in a... Um, like a dedicated one all by himself on the dev server so that he didn't have the saga boost active for the deep dives because it's like this is not representative it sounded like you were gonna say like we had to put him in the corner or something like, a little bit he, he was he was a bad karate mic so we we had to we had to put him in the corner with a dunce hat on uh no but that makes sense what's up what, okay william is here yeah. Uh, twenty percent saga would be ascending your chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like once, uh, as I've said multiple times, and I will continue to say, I have been brutally sick, guys. I <laughs> even I, you know, uh, even yesterday, I was assigned to bring in Odin pre-fights for my alliance mate, the infamous, who was taking a, a hazard shift shock and whatever note. I knew this. I even knew why I was assigned to bring in Odin. I went to place the pre-fights for uh, with Odin, and apparently White Magneto cannot place the Odin pre-fights. And I had even tagged Infamous in chat and said like, I'm placing them now, bud. <laughs> and then I get there and I'm like, I brought White Magneto. That's, <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. Like, so yeah, uh, the fact that I'm like propped up right now on caffeine and 
Yeah, I'm going to crash pretty hard tonight. I I don't know if you saw, but we had roofers show up at 7 a.m. this morning, and I was already behind on sleep. And before anyone says I get up at whatever every day, I am on Pacific Coast hours. 7 a.m. is like 5 a.m. for me, and I do not have that kind of job. <laughs> I, I know it's not that early, but it hurt. Oh, what's up, Abdo? <laughs> Abdo, he's saying they had to nerf Karate Mike. You can't nerf Karate Mike. You can try. You can try. I'll be right back. Yeah. Uh, yes, I know this is a horrible option. I just, if you were here for my, uh, for my last Mysterio run, you'll know that it did not go well. And uh, I'm just getting in whatever extra damage I might be able to. I'm actually kind of enjoying this too, in a weird way. <laughs> um, able to make a pitch for the champs and loyalty? I, I mean, we can. I, there's no way that DLL will then be like, you know what happened on Vegas stream today? We should do this. But I think oh, it would no, be no, fun. No. He's saying oh. pitch him. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow. I liked my idea better, but Hassan was just. Good. I read it Let's that go. way first too. Don't right, well, that's what happens when you don't read things in order. <laughs> Is you often miss the context. Okay, question for everyone on call. Uh, so I have enough loyalty and the new shards. So it's it's Simula here. So it's Simula. Let's let's give like twenty seconds to see if Simula's here because I don't want to piss him off. I like him. I don't want to make him angry. <laughs> Um, just say the word void into a mirror three times. Yeah. I, in my opinion, I would go with the seven star crystal. Sorry. Uh, cause it's void and black cat, right? Uh, storms in there. Storm is in there. I think Mordo is. Yeah. Cause it Mojo's incursions, right? I mean, Mordo's good. Mordo's good, but. I mean, I. I intend to keep going for the loyalty crystal until I have everyone in it. Because it is the more focused crystal, right? Hey, will Kushala gain uh, power on this node? Yes. Ooh. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Um, I mean, it's hard, right? Because I, I, I've been saying this for years, is that I think the best crystal to open is the one that gives you the best chance to get the champion you want. So a one in six to get, uh, you know, Void, if you really want Void, again, don't tell Sim, um, <laughs> is really, really, really good. But I think unless you really want one of those six champions, I, I, I would go seven star crystal in a heartbeat. I think it's in general a superior crystal. I think it's a really good crystal. In fact, I wonder if I can open up a seven star crystal. The other reason that I'm going for the seven star crystal every time, honestly, is just because um Thing. Did I say hi to Abdo? I think I did. What's up, Abdo? You did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just because I expect to get enough shatter to stay on top of buying the maximum number of the of the crystal and still also get seven star shards. You're buying the seven star crystal because you expect to get enough shatter to do both. Uh, where do you get shattered? Just from the season rewards, right? War season rewards? Yeah, exactly.
Do you ever find that um, you get used to like the animations of a champion? You play a lot, and then you go to play other champions, and they don't have like the same movement when they glide forward or 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 what have you. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just I'm 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 finding myself very surprised at how uh, smooth Titania feels. Although she feels smooth in general anyway. Yeah. Uh, but like even against that Mysterio, like that was the first time I I think since this whole stream where I was fighting Mysterio and I felt in control of the fight as opposed to I felt like he was toying with me. Just animations wise, heavy uh, bias wise, the whole thing. It it right. it just totally felt. Like when I was trying it with with Masakura, I haven't played him in forever. I really had forgotten that I had taken off the uh, the relic. Um, the whole thing fell off. Like the countering with the heavy and just the whole thing. Um, uh, I'm tempted to bring in Black Cat, but I think I should go with the fight I know better. Totally fair. Um. Uh, so, but there's TJ, another incredibly smart player, saying that they're gonna probably go any chance they can get to stick up their board, they're gonna take it. Yeah, I mean, yep. if that's the champ too, I just, I just, I've never enjoyed Void, uh, even though I had, I had this really mean War Alliance leader. Going so far back, this is when Medusa would be placed on, uh, I can't even think of the name of the node, but they would heal, right? Whenever you would gain a buff. It was section one, and I had a ranked up void for some reason, and this alliance war leader would always make me take the fight, and I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, I think ever since then, I've just hated void. So, yeah. That was you, by the way, DLL. I can't tell if you checked out or you didn't know the joke. <laughs> <laughs> but Faye, thank you, Dilly. Thank you. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Yeah. It was me and a guy named Godman. Uh, Godman actually knew what he was doing. <laughs> he did not. <laughs> uh, Jupiter, any news on when the incursion? Uh, yeah, I have no idea on those that sort of stuff. So I, I when when they're ready, they'll let us know, I think. Essentially, I yep. think Abdo maybe even answered. And if I knew, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's up, Postman? Thanks for being here, bud. Uh, and there's Reed saying Storm is a god. So I, again, uh, oh, Everbring 3. She's just another nuke. She's really good for Bullseye, too, right? Weren't people using her for Bullseye? She'll take a fair amount of damage, but she's quick, yeah, because every bleed gives her a prowess. Is his, uh, is his evade different than other champions? Because one of the things that like I'm seeing is it feels like he will not evade out of uh, special animations. But don't other champions do that? Some do. There's a couple things. First off, um, his evade does specifically call out basic attack. So that's why he's not evading out of specials. Um, but the other part of it is that like when characters evade out of specials, it depends on both how the evade is coded and like the special and how the hit stun is built. I feel like I should turn off Mantis's uh, anti-run because it's really screwing with me. Hmm.
Oh, it feels good to end it on like some actual good gameplay there. Um, moment of clarity. Mm -hmm. uh, that, but that's 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 more what I'm used to with Mantis there. Like, it, I I definitely slowed down my combos enough so I wasn't getting too many of the debuffs and um and I got I got fortunate too. Uh, Photon was willing to play ball at the uh, um in infuriate right uh, infuriate and intimidate. I always uh, mess those up. Beautifully done. Uh, so, <laughs> thanks, Abdo. I appreciate you seeing the positives. If only I had had you as a role model when I was growing up. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks, hey, Fossey. Thanks, bud. Uh, thanks, Morshe. Um, but I, but King Groot is not in the game, right? Because um, because he's not in the game, so I can't go buy him now. Uh, right. It's my understanding because he was never intended to come out in this build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This uh, that has to do with the um, the whole winner of woe, um, right? Point totals and things like that. Um, wow. Okay, that feels good. I gotta say, about thirty minutes ago, I did not think we were gonna make it. I didn't think we were gonna make it. Uh, let's see here. Let me check and see if I've got no messages. Yeah, looks like we can continue streaming for a little bit. I want to see if I can open up a seven star crystal. Um, uh, because I, I would like Storm. Uh, I, I was being playful as I normally am about Void, but I was also being serious in that I, I don't enjoy playing Void. Mm -hmm. Um, and I have a black cat and she's, she's a good sig. Uh, I don't remember what it is, but, um, I'm not like in a rush to try to get her up any higher. So... Let's see here. Uh, we're at almost 9,000. We can open up a, seven, a couple seven star crystals or six star. Where's the trade in store for all of this? this is, um probably in loyalty, right? Uh, the miss. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's after the boost. Okay. There you go. So, why would you buy this? I, I, I'll, I'll admit, I'm one of the people where the, the system confuses me a little bit. Uh, because that's how you then buy the uh, the crystal, the loyalty crystal. Oh, you don't buy the loyalty crystal directly with loyalty anymore. You you right. use one of these two currencies to buy the shatter, and then the shatter you need fifty on the shatter to buy. Okay, okay, I get that now. Uh, but I could do this, right? Yeah, and we'll have just enough. So let's do that. Yeah, and I honestly should have because I'm just sitting on too much shatter, and the crystal hasn't rolled over. But I wasn't really thinking. <laughs> Um, it's always tough too, like when a new currency or something comes in and it takes us a while to get used to it. All right. Um, here we go. This yeah. is a big one. They're all big. I can't rank up anyone to rank two anymore because I just uh, ranked up that silk. So <laughs> With, uh, let's awaken silk. Let's do it right now. Let's have some fun and awaken silk. I would not complain about Juggernaut, and I would love to get Spot. Be mad about that. Uh, getting more SIGs on either of those two champions is wonderful. So I am a happy camper with this. I think he's now 40. 60? Or is he 40? He's 40. All right. He's that's getting pretty good. Yeah, that's really, I mean, he's a very powerful champion. So uh, that's one of those, like, that's one of those really nice misses. Mm -hmm. And just to be clear, I don't think he's a mess. I just mean that if I'm not getting like the two or three champions I most badly want, I'm not right. upset about that. Um, I think I've done all questing. So I'm set up well for my uh, vacation here. Um, I guess I could do a couple battlegrounds. Uh, I, like I said, guys, I have not been playing well, so... Um, but that's fine. I don't mind. Let's hang out for a little bit. Um, let me check one more thing.
Yeah, let's do a round of battlegrounds and uh, see if we can get out of Arcane. I was in Mysterium one, like. Then I just showed like uh, yeah, I showed you like an I, I yeah. gave you and Nah a screenshot of me and Mysterium one like two days ago, and it's just been a precipitous like ask butt kicking uh, uh, for me. Uh, so yeah, uh, I was debating taking up my six stars crossbone since I can't seem to pull the seven. I mean, dude, he's so good. Do you, I do you like using him because Abdul? I know you're you're so BG focused. I like him. I mean, he's turning off ability accuracy there. Um, he's a he's great player, man. BGs. Yeah. I think if you can just, like, it's about... Actually, you know what? Maybe if I did, if I ranked him up, I could... I wonder if he's someone who you could rank up and he could kind of fulfill the role of, like, two or three other champions. Because he would definitely fulfill Falcon's role. I don't right. run Falcon that much anymore, though. Uh, Jupiter, we matched in M1. It was a great match. Ah, thanks, bud. You know what's, uh, what's the thing that's been interesting? Because I haven't really played BGs hard the last few seasons with vacations and, of course, now being sick and whatnot. Is I feel like there's more say this right i definitely am not playing well i also feel like players have caught up like obviously not account wise like this person's account is clearly smaller than mine um but i feel like skill you know like even like the speed at which people are making their picks and stuff like that like they they know what they're doing I, i'm not saying the whole community but i'm saying it feels like a lot of the community has um has progressed in a way, which is pretty cool. Rosters got bigger. Yeah, I feel that for sure. Sanskrit. This this is not a good example of that though. Uh, this person's, I think, playing real well uh, given their roster size. Excuse me. Yeah. But like even this, like um, I remember talking about this when I was playing Battlegrounds really, really well. Like you know, it was like in the celestial, uh, the lower rungs, obviously. But I was do I was consistent with Celestial. Like, I wouldn't pause at all. I would know. Like, does Juggernaut take Havoc well? And I, I can't remember. Like, I was really tempted to take Havoc there, but I, I for the life of me can't remember. Does anyone know? Does Juggernaut take uh Havoc well? I don't I don't know. Probably doable. Yeah? Yeah, just because he's Ju stupid fast. Because he's Juggernaut. Mm-hmm. Just beta heavy once or twice. He doesn't crit. He well, he doesn't crit until the fight's over, and he doesn't um, place bleeds or anything. I also will say, too, I'm um, as much as I shouldn't struggle with this node set, I am struggling with this node set hard. Mm -hmm. I, I it it does not feel like I should. Uh, I've also been doing stuff like this, where um, I'm not good at Tigra, but I kind of want, want a player, so I'm bringing her in. Yeah. Uh, Jupiter, I took him, had one detonation, still not bad. Okay, I mean, that's kind of what DL is saying. Um... Ooh. I love it when my opponent does something like that. <laughs> no, I, 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 I realize that could have sounded really uh, facetious. Like, like I'm, I'm kind of cheering for, uh, I can't see their whole name, but Jung. I'm, I'm cheering for them right now. Because like, yeah. when my opponent outthinks me, I really like that. I'm like, oh, cool. Okay, maybe I've learned something here. Or like, I didn't know that. Or um, so I'd love to see that work. I don't think it's going to work, but I'd love to see it work. It at least ain't gonna work quick. Unless they're the world's luckiest Stormax player.
Out of the side quests this month, everyone have a favorite as far as quick clears for the Mysterium? I've got a lot left to do. The Spidey one? Cool, I'll take a look at that. I just did the Shocker one again a couple times, and I was like, this isn't fun. <laughs> hey, Odie, um, I felt like I should have done that like about 10 to 15 seconds. Maybe that might be over-exaggerating. What did I do wrong there? Oh, Odie's like, you want me to type out everything you did wrong? <laughs> we ain't got that kind of time. Um, so like, this is where the, the meta kind of just, again, like I sh would have normally used my photon for this Shuri. Yeah. Mm, but actually Shocker should do fine. Oh, it's okay, Odie. I, it's, a, it's all right, buddy. Don't, I, I just, I saw your name there. Uh, I'm weirdly tempted to rank two Spider Gwen. Um, that sounds exactly like something you would say. <laughs> Vega was deciding between that and why. No, but like, so. <laughs> uh, I am in. Uh, so, like, literally, this is exactly what I've been saying. I am I am misjudging my own power gain like crazy. I could have swore I would get to two bars of power there. Yeah. I, it's not the game, it's me. Like I, it's like I've forgotten what combat power rate looks like or something. I, I, I don't I'm doing that all the time. Like And I forget that she goes unblock or untouchable. But the, um, the, like I said, I've been like sending my, like that exact scenario is happening to me so much the last week and a half. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> See, and this is what I mean. Like, my opponent's going to be like, what happened on the other side? <laughs> and I don't blame them. I would think the same thing. I would not blame them. Yeah, nice. It looks like they had a pretty good fight, too. Um, Abdo, you streaming? Did you answer it? Uh, Big, I don't think it's just you. I do too. I think it's because we know we're in a nuke meta, so we push. Yeah, maybe, man. Maybe that's what it is. I, I don't, I don't know. I just, uh, I know it ain't been good. <laughs> um, it's not been good. Um, yeah, sure, why not? This is going to go very poorly. Guys, I think that's a clear sign that uh, I should sign <laughs> off. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I, I don't know how to play Tiger well, but I don't, I'm not that bad with her normally. 
Um, I think I saw. Um, I'm probably about to go on if that's what you're look, looking oh, for. Are we really? Uh, yeah, probably just to hang and run this quest, but yeah. Right. <laughs> um, because that's exactly what I was looking for. Um, I should salute my opponent. Um, there you are. I, I would play Battlegrounds, but I just have not had enough sleep to do that. What do you mean? It's <laughs> it's fun to play and play poorly live on stream. <laughs> uh, everyone, please go raid. DLL. Uh, there's your channel. Oh, vague raid. Even better. Leave, put it as vague raid. Um, are you like you setting it up, bud, or like you? Yeah, I'm setting it up right now. Okay, so we'll just hang out and chat uh, while while we're. Uh, thanks everyone for hanging out, though. This was an absolute blast. Thanks, OG Highland, for the donation. DLL, thanks for hanging out, bud. Um, mm -hmm. For those, I, most people probably caught it, or you would have stuck around anyway. But uh, I am going to go on vacation. Part of why I wanted to get this in today is I just want to go into the weekend. My wife's been sick. My kids have been sick. Just kind of like try to get healthy and then go on a little vacation with my family and, uh, you know, play if it comes up, but not feel like I need to get a quest done or something like that. So my channel will be pretty quiet until probably next weekend. We'll be quiet for a little bit, but I think we're going to have the deep dives this weekend, which will be really cool. I'm excited to see Spider Punk and all of that. Um, uh, DL, I can hang out on call for a few minutes if you're looking for a company, but if you aren't, I get it. Um, sure. Yeah. And uh, let's click those links and uh, have, have a great time or whatever. I, I, maybe you don't want an incoherent person on stream. Anyways, <laughs> thanks, everybody. <laughs> Go check out DL. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.